Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 as the Turks. So, let's continue where we left off and kill some more White Walkers. I want to wipe out this camp, it's a little bit too close to our capital. It's also kind of close to Napoleon, so maybe he will help us out. They will probably spawn more units by the time we can kill the Handaks, because the spawn rate is actually pretty crazy, as you will see. As for the scout, we can't go through here, because there's a camp over there, and I can't kill a Handax with a scout, we'll just have to go around. And yep, we got a hunter already, okay then, barrage, and attack the hunter. You can start working on a farm. We don't have trapping yet, we could also start working on a pasture, that's probably a little bit better, because this tile will be better than this one. Right, so, that hunter. We don't technically need a third worker, but we'll get more cities. Hopefully, we'll get more cities. The plan is to start a city around here, but we'll see how that goes. And now we got a spear bearer. Great. Well, as I said, the spawn rate can be pretty crazy. We are also about to get the policies, so... The plan is to actually get warrior code for the great general. I might even use that great general for a citadel. You might think that's a little bit excessive, but trust me, it's not. It really isn't. And also, I want this for plus 80% great general generation rate. So, pick that up. And that gives us a general. Gaius Marius. Sounds like a typical Turkish general. So, that spear bearer needs to go. For obvious reasons. Rip. Alright, I will keep the general for the combat bonus for now, but I will almost definitely start a citadel somewhere close to our capital. Somewhere to the west, I think. Not sure about the exact tile just yet, but we got time to decide. You can heal up a bit, and I suppose you can move a little bit closer. I really hope Jerusalem won't fall, because if it does, we'll have to do something about that. Yeah, okay. Let's go explore a bit more, and another hunter. Not a problem. Yeah, the bonus will be really nice, especially combined with the honor opener bonus against barbarians, white walkers, whatever. Keep moving. Alright, back to the camp. Should be able to destroy it in the next two turns. We can't loot it on the next turn, which is unfortunate, mostly because this is a marsh. So we'll use two movement points to go through there. Oh great, we have yet another unit. Okay, don't get me wrong, I don't mind the experience and the culture, but this is not the only White Walker camp in the area, to say the least. There are many more. Ten more turns, two more turns. These improvements will probably get pillaged more than once, but that's fine. That's pretty much to be expected. Plus one magistrate, okay, thanks. Oh, he will attack Napoleon, alright. I'm more than okay with this. Let's actually use this tile because that's a grassland. We will not get minus 15% combat penalty. And like this. So, the gems are done, nice. Do I want to work that tile? To speed things up? I think I will actually. The city will still grow in 8 turns, but we'll get more production. We'll save one turn on the library. As for research, we need bronze working, because first, we need spearmen really badly, and second, we need to see iron on the map. I really hope there's some iron close to us, because we'll need it for units. Alright, now we can kill that camp and get a worker out of it. Nice. And there's actually a city-state to the south. Kuala Lumpur. Okay, then. And it's getting attacked. Probably by units spawned from this camp. But who knows? There might be more nearby. Okay, now we can get the first. We'll start working on that. And it's time to consider starting a citadel, I think. First of all, let's go back and take a look around. There will definitely be barbarians to the northwest, white walkers, whatever. 
I really hope Napoleon won't get wiped out. We'll see about that. I need him to stay alive and help me out. Most of the AIs will probably get wiped out by the White Walkers. They will. Ram will definitely get wiped out. In fact, he's about to lose his capital. He has two White Walker cities to the east. These cities are still here, it's just a visual bug. But he will get wiped out, that's pretty obvious. He is pretty much already dead. He might lose his capital on the next turn. Anyway, you need to heal up a bit. And then we'll go look for some camps to the northwest. Will he lose his capital? Yep, he's about to lose his capital on the next turn. Unless they don't have melee units, but that's pretty unlikely, let's just say. Three more turns to get the library. Yep, he lost his capital. RIP! <laughs> Goodbye, Ram. It's been nice not knowing you. That might or might not have been the reason why I included him in this game. I was either going to kill him myself or he was going to get wiped out by the White Walkers. It's a win no matter what. Hi, Napoleon. Nice settler you have there. You are not going to start a city here. Then again, I don't really mind. I wasn't going to start a city here myself. But I don't want him to forward settle me all that much. So, what do we need here? We need more camps, I suppose. Alright. Next. Someone lost his capital again. Other than Ram. Also, I don't think we'll be using trade routes anytime soon. Because they will not be very safe, let's just say. And this scout... Oh, there's still a ruin over here. Okay, I'll take it. Plus some population. Thanks. That was quite useful. Let's go find some white walkers. Okay, I'm not seeing any. That's good. I really hope Jerusalem won't fall. There are some barbarians over here. White walkers, whatever. So clearly there has to be a camp. He did settle a city. Oh well. We didn't really lose anything, so that's fine. And he will kind of protect us from the west. Or he will get wiped out and turn into a White Walker city. That's definitely a possibility. So, production. We got the library. Now we need more units, basically. We're about to finish bronze working. But I wouldn't mind one more archer in Borsa. We need construction ASAP for composite bombing before White Walkers start spawning stronger units, like Swordsmen, or Pikemen, or Wards. Yep, the scout died, and we have Iron, nice. Six Iron right next to our capital, awesome. And six more Iron over here, perfect. Alright. And we got a Hand Axe incoming. Where did that guy come from? Okay, there's clearly a camp somewhere around there. It might be just out of range, somewhere around here. We need to find out. As for research, yeah, we need construction. Let's go for masonry first, because we have stone in range. And we need to find a camp. Wait, no, this guy might have been part of the army that captured Ram's capital. But still, I'll check this corner over here, just to make sure there are no nasty surprises waiting for us. Be careful with that general. Wouldn't want to lose him. Obviously. Are we close to another general? 63 out of 200. Okay. It shouldn't take too long. I will definitely start a citadel somewhere close to our capital. The only question is when, not if. We need a capital. We'll need a citadel somewhere in this area, to the northwest or something. Yep, they are coming for us. This is going to be interesting. Okay, kill that guy. Maybe this is a good moment to start the citadel already. Well, I don't know. Maybe not yet. We could start the citadel here. Which isn't a bad idea. I think that's going to be it. I like that plan. That will keep us safe from the northwest. And we will be getting White Walkers from the Northwest. That's pretty much a guarantee. It is going to happen. The only question is how many. 
All right, so kill this dude and start the citadel already before Napoleon's border expands. He will probably get wiped out, but hey, maybe he won't. Anyway, yeah, citadel. This might seem a little bit excessive, but trust me, it really isn't. All right, do it. Done. Okay. Now, now we need a melee unit. So, spearmen, basically. Because that's the best melee unit we can recruit right now. I could actually lure that hand axe towards my worker. Just let him steal the worker. It's not a bad idea. At least he won't pillage the pasture then. He might still pillage the pasture. But he will be more likely to steal the worker. Let him do that. We will be able to kill him on the next turn. And get our worker back, I think. We'll have one more archer on the next turn. No, he pillaged the pasture. Okay, whatever. That's fine. I think we can still kill him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can. Yep, he's dead. Rip. Carry on with the camp. And we got more incoming. At least now we can focus on our eastern flank. Which should be relatively safe, thanks to all these mountains. Okay, repair that. Now, I'm still thinking about my second city. I don't think I want to start a city here, because... This camp is going to be a problem. We would have to send a fairly strong army with the settler. It might be better to just start a city somewhere around here. We would get the iron. We wouldn't get any luxuries, well, other than the pearls, I suppose. But this city will be very easy to defend. I think that's the best location. Again, not because of yields, but because of the ease of defending it. Alright, what do you need to do? Is that camp finished? No, it's not. Go finish it then. Masonry is almost done. Now, is there a camp to the north or... Is this just an army that attacked the ram? I guess we'll find out. I don't know, there's a catapult now. There might actually be a camp somewhere around there. Kill that guy. Alright, we have a moment of a breather. <laughs> Probably not for very long. Oh yeah, I don't really want your iron, but... I wouldn't mind gold. However, he's only getting two gold per turn. Pearls for pearls. We'll get our own pearls. I think I prefer to spend gold per turn in this situation. We could use some money. Our income was not exactly amazing. Heal this. Heal up. Ram is not dead yet. That's good. Okay, plus some population. Let's switch to full production. Not that it will make a difference. We are working all the best tiles no matter what. Well, no, we can do something like this. Okay, that seems reasonable. We need to improve that iron ASAP. Hold on, I will delay the spearman if I do it like this. But I like the gold. Okay, we'll get the gold. As for you, we got masonry, so we can improve the stone now. And we need at least one melee unit on that citadel at all times. Which means this guy that we are currently recruiting. He'll just have to stay on that citadel at all times. Because if the White Walkers loot the citadel, it will not be very useful, will it? No. Okay, no camp. Just one guy incoming, which is fine. Alright. So, finish repairing that. We actually stabilized for now. And Napoleon didn't get wiped out yet. This is pretty good. Trust me, this setup can really escalate quickly. You can lose in the first 100 turns so easily. Or at least you can get into a situation where you are pretty much guaranteed to lose sooner or later. So I'm quite happy about this. Having all these mountains nearby is going to be huge help. Right, what do you need to do? I wouldn't mind. Oh yeah, no, we need to improve the iron, right. Let's check out that camp very carefully. But this is definitely going to be a second city, either on this tile or on this one. This one should be fine. 
maybe a little bit too close. This would be the safest possible location. It will be a little bit close to Bursa. Maybe too close. I will not be settling on top of sheep because that's silly. Kill that guy. Rip. And get started on the iron. One more turn to get the spearman. Alright, so our western flank should be safe. Unless Napoleon gets wiped out. But I hope not. Most of the AIs will probably get wiped out sooner or later. It's going to happen. Right, back up. I think Ram will get wiped out, yeah. I can't really help him. Not that I would. Well, I mean, maybe I would, but I can't because of all these mountains. I can't even consider doing it. Spearman is done. We're going to need at least one more Spearman. Yeah, I'm delaying the settler quite a bit. Oh, what? Caesar lost a city. And Rome is taking damage. I think this game will boil down to what's in the title. Turks versus White Walkers. That's why I titled it like that, because the White Walkers will definitely be the biggest threat to deal with in this game. Not the AIs. Trust me. So, Settler. I mean, if I want to start a city here, we don't really need a huge escort. Yeah, this is quite a few units. Nah, let's finish the Spearman. We only have one melee unit, and he really has to stay on top of the citadel. That's the whole down point of the citadel. Alright. Carry on with the mine. We need to back up with this guy. I might have overextended a little bit. I don't like the look of that horseman. Come on. At least the catapult can't shoot us. Yep, we need to back up or he will just die. In fact, I think he's going to need some help. He might die without help. He's just an archer, but he does have barrage too. I could send the spearman to help him out. Okay, the second spearman can guard the citadel. We should be fine now, but we definitely need to back up. No question about that. Yep, we need to back up. And we will need help from the spearman for sure. Kill this dude and keep healing. I need to help Napoleon. I can't afford to have Napoleon wiped out. As for the next policy, I think I'll go for military tradition. 50% more experience from combat will be amazing. Yep, and we will be fighting pretty much constantly. Terracotta army. Okay, I'm actually kind of glad that he built that. Yeah, we got more incoming. It might have been a mistake sending a spearman here. I thought that horseman will follow me a little bit more than it actually did. Yeah, okay, that might have been a mistake. I hope the catapult will not pillage the citadel. Someone will probably pillage the citadel. We are almost back. Kill that guy. Yep, here comes a new wave of white walkers. We are about to get a spearman and we'll get construction in six turns. They can't pillage the citadel right now. He can move into the citadel, he will not. Okay, we got a spearman on the citadel. Good, good. We should be safe-ish. Sort of. But not really. <laughs> I'm not going to say we're safe because we will not be safe anytime soon. Anyway. Yeah, these assignments were actually fine. Like this. So, now we need a settler. We really do. We can't just keep one city. And this should be a relatively safe location. It's not that anyone is going to start a city there before we do, but I want to get a second city. And start developing it. This will probably be a third city, but it will have to wait until a little bit later. Probably much later. Okay. So... I can't kill this guy. Well, I can if I move. Like this. And... Kill that guy with an archer. We just got barrage too. Nice. Yep, kill him. And the spearman will just chill around here. You guys need to heal up. 
and I want that mine right here where the archer is fortify fortify looks good the hand axe will keep attacking us and I still want to help Napoleon I don't want Napoleon to get wiped out and I obviously don't want a barbarian city this close to me for obvious reasons okay well I don't know we could really use construction faster than this kill that guy and move towards the city yeah this is a lot of units come on construction we need construction we should have enough money to upgrade all three archers I need that city to hold come on Napoleon don't give up yep I think we have to protect our citadel this is a lot of units we have to protect our citadel this is the reason why I built that citadel all right well we'll keep the spearmen on our eastern flank and use archers to help Napoleon that's the plan I'll have to retake the city if the white walkers take it anyway the quarry is done and the mine is also done nice I could chop the forest it's not a terrible idea it would speed things up a bit it would speed up the settler a bit by like two maybe three turns the city should be fine as long as I help Napoleon out I didn't think I will be doing this helping Napoleon not get wiped out come on what's this okay I don't like that horseman hold on best way to handle this move into the city to get the bonus from oligarchy then attack like so attack with the city and kill him and then I guess that's it I can back up and attack the hand axe I suppose we're not quite close to logistics but two more turns to get construction show the forest and any more improvements we need we could try to build a farm over there we'll also have to get rid of that catapult we're about to get construction so that's good news on turn 98 or 99 in this case this is a very non-standard game <laughs> all right well the catapult is attacking the city i suppose and so kill this guy before he can pillage the iron like this and attack the lone sword no we have to heal up okay fine oh great now we have a catapult incoming i might need more units here i think we need more units than this but i seriously want that second city we'll see come on construction go go the downside is that we'll have to use a full turn to actually upgrade these units so they will not be able to attack wait what they auto upgraded since when okay i can't complain about that oh also i didn't go for the turkish unique decisions because we are playing with events and decisions and so the first one requires them to have physics can only be enacted once per game costs 750 gold and they gained the gunpowder technology two free musket men and a free bombard so that's amazing we definitely need that and the second one requires a military garrison of at least level three which means that you need a unit garrisoned in the city which is at least level three that's the easy part especially with this kind of setup it can only be enacted from the beginning of the renaissance era only once per game costs 750 and it establishes an enderon academy in the capital which is this plus 10 experience for newly trained gun and mounted units and lancer units and rate at which great generals are born increased by 20 percent 
So that's going to be amazing combined with honor. Anyway. Okay, so we won't have to upgrade the composite bowman. That's nice. This is actually going to be a huge help right here. Yeah, this is going to be a huge boost for us. I think that city is actually going to fall. Yeah, I'm having serious doubts if I can prevent the barbarians from taking that white walkers, whatever. I don't think I can. Oh, great. That guy is not actually dead. Damn it. Well then. Drill. I could kill him, but that would be a terrible idea. Maybe it wouldn't be. Drill. It's not like he can do a whole lot, he already pillaged the camp. Okay, just fortify. As for research, Aaron working. I think we kind of need that, although we also need philosophy ASAP. Let's go for a calendar for now. We need five more turns for the settler. Come on. Yeah, oh, the city is still there. Wow. How did that city not fall on this turn? That's amazing. Hey, can't complain about that. Alright, we are getting close to logistics. Heal that guy. You guys can use this turn to heal up a bit. Use the heal. And fortify. So, I am going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you next time.